The only man Princess Diana says she ever trusted, her former butler and confidant Paul Burrell, has slammed the ground for going too far this season in reenacting her death. And never far from controversy, the Netflix series has long been accused of fabricating or reinventing events, but a lot of people commenting last night say this one has simply gone too far. Well, here's a trailer to show what they mean. Don't really understand how I ended up here. Dashing around. And losing sight of myself in the process. You know, I think that's been the story of my whole life. I'm afraid, Your Majesty, interest in the princess's private life is unlikely to die down anytime soon. And the press are on our tails constantly. All one wants is for that girl to find peace. Hello! Mommy. Okay. I'm okay. It's just. It has all been a bit mad recently. Well, have you watched it and what did you think about it? Is it getting too close to the present now? I'll say it really looked like Diana, didn't it? Well, former head of Raw Security Di Davis simply thinks it's gone too far. But showbiz reporter Stephanie Tacky says we have to respect its artistic representation. OK, let's kick off with you, Di. So, um, you think it's gone too far, do you? Uh, well, yes, good morning. Uh, yes, I do. I think, ethically speaking, uh, we have gone too far. Good manners cost very little, and I don't think this program, what I saw last night, and I, I saw quite a few episodes last night, in my humble opinion, isn't right. It is depicting wrongly the character of people still alive who have little or no say in, in response, and it's done for the sake of making money. Now, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right to discuss the current king and queen and Prince William and Harry. I really do think it's gone too far. And I'm no prude, but I don't think uh, we should combine, if you like, entertainment with a, a delve into what is fiction in the most part. And most of us have no idea what the conversations were about. It's pure fantasy. And I think it's wrong in principle. Well, Steph, I have to say, I mean, I sort of agree with that. I watched the earlier seasons mm -hmm. and loved them, but once it got so close to the present, it felt it felt really uncomfortable. And knowing that it sort of was true, but wasn't really true, and some people were being misrepresented, mm. I don't know. I just I just stopped watching. I, I couldn't do it anymore. I love The Crown. I've watched all six seasons. There's an estimated 73 million people who have watched the, three, the five seasons of The Crown. And I would like to think by now they know it's a fictional based drama based on hi historical events surrounding the royal family. So people know this is not a documentary where it has to be factual. As a drama series, it's a play on the imagination. It's a play for entertainment. So there are things that are going to be skewed in a way where it's more entertaining but as well if you think about it we have one of the most popular royal families in the whole wide world they've been plagued by both tragedy and scandal and it's available publicly available for people to read in books magazines and in previous tv dramas so why not the crown well di davis as a former head of royal security um one of the most controversial parts of this season of course is the tragic death of lady diana do you think in particular that is one of the most unsavoury aspects of this, and it simply shouldn't be dramatised. It's too soon, and it's too harrowing. Well, yes, I do. Uh, and I, I lecture as a historian now on the very death of Diana and the events leading up to it, and much of what has been portrayed is factually wrong. I can say that. And the other factor is the way that the Mohammed family, and I'm no great lover of Mohammed Fayyad or the late Mohammed Fayyad, but the way that he's been depicted without any ability to respond, people might believe that's true. Whether he did some of the things as is alleged here is debatable. Certainly he had a power over his son. But with great respect, to carry on with this saga so many years afterwards, in my pattern mind, perpetuates the nonsense that's talked that this was some kind of conspiracy, etc., etc. 
Yes, it's entertainment, but I don't think we in this country or any other country need this kind of delving into people who are still, many of them, still alive and deeply affected by what happened in Paris. And we're still going on about it. It is frightening, really. You see, I don't agree with that because I think there's actually the royal family probably do not even watch The Crown because they're switched off to it because they've actually lived those events. And also the show's producer, Peter Morgan, he says that they've moved cautiously and tastefully with this series of season six. So in terms of like having Princess Diana as a ghost, it's not actually representing her as a ghost, but it represents her vividly living on in people's imaginations, which she does. Everybody knows that time when Diana died, everyone can remember where they are. It rocked the world. So why can it, why can it not be dramatized in a TV show? Okay, well, Stephanie Tetchy and Di Davis, great debate.